Hi, in this video, we'll be talking about ProSRAM. It is an option that Pratia provides. Now, before getting into the explanation of what it is, I believe it is easier if I would just walk you through a use case that this came in handy for me, because I believe in that way it is easier uh, to understand. So uh, I was uh, handling some ESLint issues uh, inside of my markdown file, and all of them were fixed except one. And that one issue was line must be at most 80 characters, a maximum line length issue. This is an ESLint issue. And uh, as the name goes uh, here, as you can see, it has 172. So they are expecting it to have at most 80. So maybe they are expecting to have a line break here. Now I thought uh, that Pretty would automatically handle this and you know fix it, but it did not do that. But so when I did some read up, read up about Pretty. Uh, one thing obvious which we all know that Prettier is there so that we can have a certain standard we all follow that so there are not much differences in the styles that we approach uh, but but uh, uh, it actually provides some few options along customizable options along with it and you might think that this customer if you are to provide this customizable option you kind of move away from the very goal that you are providing to have this standard that you can keep but the reason they uh, they have specified the like for each option they are providing they are specifying the reason why they are doing it and in our case we just look into prosrap to call them it is important to supply all because to support all quirky markdown renderers in the white and to explain what it is some of the markdown renderers uh, like example they have given they have given a couple github command or bit bucket are line break sensitive renderer so if I just if you if I just did what I you know just showed you right now, it kind of reflects in the output as well. You can just do a small Google and you can find out the issues uh, here where it does not comply with soft line breaks. So this was expected to be in a single line, but it kind of came out in a diff, two different lines. So in my use case, as you uh, as I can show you right now, uh, this is the output before the line break, and this is the value where we are editing it. And if I save it. It does not affect the, my output and at the same time it increases the readability of the code as well so in my use case it works fine but in some use case it does not that is why by default it uh, pretty does not uh, do this job and if i need it in my code i have to use something called prosrap so that's about it prosrap and now getting into uh, inside of the options that prosrap itself provides there are three options always never and preserve First, I'll just I'll try to explain in simple words, and then we'll get into a. Re I'll just show you how it reflects when when I use different inputs. So always, as you can see, uh, I'll kind of apply this process. Right? So if I am to give this value, so in your code, if you want to do it, uh, you can just create a prettier RC file, and you can add this process wrap, and you can just give the value here. Now, if I give this process wrap. And as always, what it does, it, it is kind of wraps that uh, you know code, and if it exceeds a certain limit, it creates a line break. Uh, now, uh, I need to clarify something that I guess can be confusing. This number 80 has nothing to do with what Prettier does. It is an ASLN created issue. The reason why Prettier also handles this 80 is uh, can be found inside of Prettier's documentation in something called print width. And you can see print it has a default value of 80. So what ProSRAP does, it, it wraps up at this default value. So if you need to wrap it at a different value, you can give a different uh, print width here and it kind of wraps up in a different value. So you can give 50 or something, it wraps up in a different value. While ESLint uh, shows up 80 is because it has a default value set up there. So it has nothing to do with it. So Pretty handles with default 80, and because it handles it, uh, it that error will be fixed there. But if I am to give a hundred there, and it ESLIN has 80 there, then this issue will still uh, this uh, will come still come up. So you need to handle both use cases to match each other, and it will uh, take care of and so on. Now, okay. Now coming back to the uh, option, uh, what always does, as I just told you, is kind of it will go to each line, which uh, whichever exceeds it, it will just may, uh, create a line break and bring it down. And the I will come back to the never at uh, at the last. The third option that is here is preserve. As the word goes, preserve basically does nothing. It will just keep the code as it is. If it has or if it doesn't have, it doesn't care. Just keep it as it is. Now, never is, as you can see, is basically something that you can use in these use cases. What never does it is brings these things into a single line. 
now i'll show you uh, how it works uh, but it's an example and to find this example uh, you can just try it out you can just go to prettiest website and you can click on try online and you can get something like this a uh, playground and i have selected markdown as parser like parser as markdown because i'm you know working on this in a markdown file you can select anyone and you can find out what happens when these options are applied now the print width as i say as i told you is given 80 it's a default value as well i'll show you how it reflects when you change something and i'll go for something like always now as you can see it it exceeds this value so it kind of uh, created a line break right after this so this is the output now if i go back to preserve it will just retain how the however i have written my code on the left side it just output the same if it is always it will create a line break at 80. now we'll come back to never what never does it it basically brings this into one single line so these are the three options uh, the never and preserve can be a little bit confusing so think of preserve as the default option where nothing is done never it makes sure that pro wrap is not done by you or them so it brings into a one single line so that's the three options here and again i'll explain about the sprint width right now and if i give always it has this wrap at 80 and if i am to uh give yeah you can see this as the change happens if it is 50 it kind of cuts out at the 50 if it's five it cuts out at five so that's what it is and since i talked about eslint uh you know you can just come down here and change this value and see so i'll just uh i have this inside of eslint rc if i am to give this and I give a value of 50 and I run it again you can see the value has changed so this is an ESLint error and uh, prettier if you have a prettier and if you commit the code like if you have set, set it up in packages and to run prettier before you commit it takes care of it and because it if you have a same value of 80 it fixes that error for you but if you have a different value that is a different use case so anyways prettier has these very few options and one of them is pros wrap and this is what pros wrap does for you i hope uh this uh, was useful and you know you can use it at some point when you are using pretty thank you